Jeanette Young. And your age? 64. And whether you identify um, as a male or a female, what gender female. you identify as. Okay, thank you. And um, tell me what brings you in today. Um, I have a cough and um, some um, pain on my right side and um, just don't feel good. Okay. And when did the cough and the pain start? About three days ago. Okay. And um, you said it's right here on the right side. Does it radiate anywhere? No. Okay. Not really. And it's just been, you know, pretty constant the past three days, getting a little worse or? Yeah. Okay. And does anything seem to make it better? Just uh, taking ibuprofen. Okay. And how much are you taking? Uh, I take 600 milligrams about three times a day. Okay. And um, does anything seem to make it worse? Um, coughing or deep breathing okay. exercise. Okay. And how would you describe the pain? It's, it's kind of sharp. Sharp. Okay. And um, is there any time of the day that it seems to be worse? In the mornings and evenings. Morning and evenings, okay. And then on a scale of one to 10, how bad would you rate the pain? A five. And at rest, how, how bad is it? One. One, okay. And um, so when patient walked in the room, her gait was um, coordinated and her posture was good, um, straight, tall. She um, is well nourished, well groomed, awake, alert, oriented times three. Her mood is pleasant, um, even though she doesn't feel well, and she's making good eye contact. Um, so all that is well. Um, so I'm going to continue asking you um, a few more questions about your symptoms. Are you having any headaches? Um, fever? Oh yeah, fever. How high's your fever been at home? It's been about 101 and a half. Okay. Any ear pain? No. Throat pain? Are you coughing anything up? Yeah. Phlegm mucus. Okay. What color is it? Green. Thick or thin? Thick. Okay. Um, any heart palpitations? No. Um, I know you said you get a little short of breath pain with um, exercise or exertion, but at rest, any shortness of breath? No. Okay. Any nausea, vomiting, diarrhea? No. Um, any difficulty thinking or loss of consciousness, anything like that? No. Joint pain? No. Tingling, numbness, um, rashes or skin lesions? Okay, good. Um, and I know you said chest pain over here, chest pain anywhere else? No. Okay, great. All right, so now I'm gonna go into your medical history. Um, are you allergic to any medicine? Penicillin. Are you allergic to any um, foods? No. Okay. Do you take any medicines daily? Uh, any prescriptions? No. Do you take any, I know you said ibuprofen, anything else? Valerian root to sleep. Okay. That's about it. Um, do you, have you ever been diagnosed with anything? Uh, I have thyroid nodules, benign. Okay. Any, no um, medication. Okay. No surgery, or have you ever had any surgeries or hospitalization? No, only to have children. Okay. Vaginal childbirth? Yes. All, okay. Um, do you drink? Uh, I drink wine, one cup, one glass, maybe two, three times a week. Okay. Any tobacco use? No. Smoking? No. Drugs? No. Um, have you ever had any major accidents or injuries? No. Okay, good. And um, when was your last pap smear? Uh, within the year, about eight months ago. Is everything good with that? Yes. Um, mammogram? Also about eight months ago, all good. Okay. Uh, last period? Uh, menopause. Okay. Five years. And do you do um, breast? Self exam yes. at home monthly? Yes. Okay, wonderful. Um, and then pa uh, family history, do your parents have any medical conditions? And if so, do you know right about around how old they were when they were diagnosed? Um, my mother has high blood pressure since uh, 70 years of age and uh, 
pre, uh, pre-diabetic uh, at 85. Okay. And then my father, uh, also high blood pressure around age 75 diagnosed. And a, um, a skin cantillation on, it, on his ear about a year ago at age 85. Okay, and do you know if it's like basal cell, squamous cell? Squamous cell. Okay, and you said he had high blood pressure. Yes. Um, anything else? No. Um, has your mom ever had cancer or no. anything? Okay. Any um, diabetes with your dad? No. Um, irregular heart rhythm? Oh, yeah, he had um, AFib. AFib. At the same time with the high blood pressure okay. at 75. Oh, 75. Okay. And then any um, medical conditions with your siblings? No. Your children? No. Okay, great. Um, so now we will move forward with the exam, if that's okay. Mm -hmm. Starting with um, cardiovascular. Um, if you don't mind swiveling your legs just a hair. There we go. Um, so upon, not quite that much, upon inspection of the chest, um, I don't see any um, pulsation or heaving. So I'm gonna listen to the um, valves of the heart starting um, right sternal um, border, second intercostal space at the aortic valve. And then going to the left sternal border to the pulmonic valve. And then fourth intercostal space at the tricuspid valve. And then fifth intercostal space, midclavicular line at the um, mitral valve. And this is where the apical pulse is, which I will um, listen to right now for about 15 seconds. Okay, so we multiply that by four um, to get about 88 beats per minute. Now I'm gonna to listen to um, the valves again with the bell for any bruise or um, murmurs. So we've got the aortic area, pulmonic, tricuspid, and mitral. Okay, none were noted. Now I'm gonna fill her carotid pulse. equal and bounding through plus bilaterally. Now I'm going to listen to the carotid arteries for any bruits with the bell. Okay, no bruits were noted. Now I'm going to continue with um, checking her pulses and we have the radial and the um, posterior, let's go back up here, femoral. Okay. Popliteal. Posterior tibial. And dorsalis pedis. Pulses are equal, um, strong, bounding, three plus bilaterally on all pulses. Um, now, while I'm down here, I'm gonna check her tibial areas um, for any edema and swelling. And um, none, no edema is noted. I'm gonna check um, her um, toenails and her nail beds, which are normal for ethnicity. Um, for blood return and the capillary refill is less than three seconds. I'll also check your fingernails real quick. And capillary refill is less than three seconds. So um, the patient has good circulation. All right, now um, I'm gonna have you swivel to where your back is facing the camera. Just a little more. And we are going to do um, 
check on your lungs now. Um, thorax, I'm just gonna inspect your back and your chest. Um, your anterior posterior diameter is good with a one to two ratio, which is what we want. No um, barrel chest. Um, she has no retractions noted. Um, her breathing is unlabored. Um, and so now I'm going to um, have her take a deep breath and check that her um, respirations are equal bilaterally. Go ahead and take a deep breath for me, please. Okay, and they are um, symmetric. Now I'm going to um, percuss your lungs, starting the right upper lobe to right middle lobe, down to the right lower lobe, staying in between the spine and the scapula and underneath the scapula. And then again on the left. Okay, um, so resonance was heard in all lobes except for this right lower lobe um, where dullness was percussed. Now I'm going to um, listen to your lung sounds. Um, actually, before I do that, I'll just go ahead and check your kidneys. Um, so I'm going to put my hand at her um, vertebral or costal vertebral um, angle, and I'm just going to kind of beat on you real quick and tell me if it feels tender. Any tenderness there or pain? No. Um, so no sign of inflammation of the kidneys. So now we're going to listen to the lungs, starting at the apex above the scapula. Just take some uh, deep breaths in and out. So just go back and forth, right upper lobe, left upper lobe. Again, staying between the scapula and the spine. Right middle lobe, going down to the left lower lobe. And you start around T3, you make your way down to about T10. Right lower lobe. Okay, breath sounds are within normal limits except for the right lower lobe where um, I heard crackles. Okay, so now I'm gonna have you um, Turn back towards the front, please. And I'm going to continue listening to your breath sounds if you don't mind continuing your breaths. The apex above the clavicle, and then around T2, T3, the upper lobes, right middle lobe, and down to the right lower lobe. Then mid axillary, left lower lobe, and mid axillary. Okay, great. Again, um, normal breath sounds except for the right lower lobe where crackles were um, auscultated. So now I'm going to have you um, take or make this sound for me. E and I'm just going to listen to your lung sounds while you do that. E okay, wonderful, thank you. So um, in the right lower lobe, um, the agophony did go from the E to the A ah sound, so there is um, dullness or I'm sorry, um, consolidation in the right lower lobe, so some inflammation, possibly fluid um, in the right lower lobe. So thank you for doing that. Um, so now I'm going to have you um, lay on the exam table, if that's okay, um, so I can check your abdomen. I'm gonna lift your shirt up. Little bit. The abdomen um, is flat upon inspection. 
um, flat contour, no um, abnormalities or masses noted, no lesions, umbilicus is midline. Um, so we are going to start with, um, oh, I'm sorry, Liz knee to the abdomen, starting with the right lower quadrant, right upper quadrant, left upper quadrant, and left lower quadrant. Okay. Breath sounds were, um, Bowel sounds were present in all four quadrants. So now I'm going to percuss the abdomen. Okay. Um, symphony and dullness were heard throughout the four quadrants, which is good and normal. Um, now I'm going to check um, your liver or um, any liver enlargement. So I'm going to start around the um, third intercostal space and work my way down until I hear dullness. Okay, and I'm going to mark it with a pen. And then I'm going to start um, around uh, midclavicular line of the umbilicus and work my way up until I hear dullness. Measure that for your liver size, which is about seven centimeters, so no liver enlargement. Now I'm going to palpate your abdomen, starting with just some light palpation in all four quadrants. Um, no masses um, or rigidity felt. Was there any tenderness with that? No. Okay, so now I'm gonna do deep palpation right lower quadrant, right upper quadrant, left upper quadrant, left lower quadrant. Any tenderness? No. Nope. Um, no rigidity or masses felt. Now I'm going to palpate your gallbladder. Um, it's called the Murphy sign. Um, now I'm going to have you take a deep breath for me while I'm palpating. Was there any pain or difficulty with taking that deep breath? No. Okay, so negative Murphy's um, sign, no um, inflammation of the gallbladder. Um, so now I'm going to cover you up and then um, I'm going to do the ileosis sign or test. Um, ileosis, I have a hard time saying that, I'm sorry. Um, I'm going to have you lift your leg up and just hold it in the air. And then I'm gonna push down against your thigh and you lift up against me. You ready? Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, did you have any pain in this area with that? No. Okay, good. So negative sign, uh, which means that she's not um, at risk for appendicitis. And so then we'll do the obturator muscle test, um, which if positive could be a sign of a ruptured appendix or a pelvic abscess. So I'm gonna have you bend your leg at a 90 degree angle. Perfect. And then tell me if you have any pain when I move your legs like this. No. Okay. So negative sign there as well. Wonderful. Okay, so um, based on your results of your assessment, having um, the dullness in your right lower lobe, um, crackles were heard, um, your positive agophony in the right lower lobe. I think the next step for you is to um, go have a chest x-ray. Does that sound good? Yes. Okay, I'll help you up. Thank you. Thank you so much for your time. I hope you feel better. Thank you.